Ahoy, I'm Commander Tyrael, and this is my magnificent flying city. As you saw it last, in part one of Airborne Empire. Things are going to change a little bit through this episode. The plan is to make a warship that can take the fight to the pirates and defend us from any threat that they may pose. Here's a little glimpse at the power that we soon shall possess. Lots of guns. But before we can get to that point, we have some work to do. So let's jump in. We've fitted the propellers. We've got space for one more propeller. I'm just going to upgrade them all and see what kind of speed we can get from this little beast. The goal is to be very fast. Have the propellers manned as we move along across long stretches of land. And then once we arrive at a prime destination for mining, we will take everyone off the propellers and get them to work. We have four academies working furiously to upgrade the technology of our city. And once the technology is finished, we could either delete them or just leave them empty for posterity. Let's build another propeller. See what kind of speed we can get. 75% of our maximum speed almost. This will add 10%, but that's before upgrade. So maybe we could push 90% out of her. A few more upgrades to go before the propellers are fully efficient. But our fuel consumption is pretty good at 1.3 units of coal per hour. In-game hour. I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, we still have to expand the city, so that efficiency may decrease. We also have lots of, uh, lots of room to maneuver with our lift generation as well. All of our fans can be upgraded, so we won't need to build more for a little while, I don't think. So we're just working on the upgrades for the propellers. 85% of our maximum speed. We want a fast ship. But I don't want to build it too large, so it won't get any wider than it is now. We're going for a long design that is reminiscent of a warship. Okay, what's left? All of the fans need upgrades. All of the hangars can be upgraded. The propeller still needs its speed upgrades, but we're going for efficiency first. We upgraded the coal bunkers so we can carry lots and lots of fuel. Pumping out the research. Let's... What should we go with the... Should we maximize the towers? Or maybe I should decrease how much food and water we're using. We seem to use more water than food, so let's go with that one. Moving along at a splendid pace, 88%. We still, if I fiddle around, I could probably fit another propeller on the front as well. So I think we could hit maximum speed. I will need to upgrade the storage though. At some point, we still have room for upgrades there. There's a beacon, masterfully crafted. We're looking for the ranger station. So we can progress the plot a little bit. Apparently this ranger here is having trouble with pirates, so we need to find out what they need from us. Grabbing all the ore that we can, keeping the warehouse full as we continue to make that iron. As I said, the storage is running out though, so we can't create any more iron until we refine it. Bit of a juggling act there with wood and ore. Ranger Miri, hello. You can come through that door there. We're having bandit trouble, and mana is breathing down my neck. The bandits have been attacking every settlement from here to Little Los. We would love to help you, so she's going to mark the location on our map. A settlement needs help. The easiest way to make space in our hold is to use up some of this wood that we have. So let's build another tower. I'm not very happy with our defensive capability at the moment. We need one near the front of our ship just to cover the hangars and the vital propellers. We have pirates coming in now. I'm not too concerned about them. They're, they 
minor, they're a minor pest at most. But who knows how big the waves will get. They seem to come every 10 minutes or so. Turning away so we get a little bit of assistance from our guns. Protect those vital front areas. I do wonder if you'll get to spawn your own fighters. That would be really cool. I'd love to send out a wing of fighters to fight them first. Before they hit the mothership. Now that that's dealt with, <clears throat> some of our fans were damaged, but we still have that excess lift, so we no concern. As well as all the upgrades I can still do to the fans. But we will wait until we start the next phase of construction. This There is a quest saying that I can get a cannon somehow. Right, we're going to head over to the ore mine, grab as much ore as we can. Everyone manning the propellers so we can get there a bit faster. 84% since adding in that extra uh, defensive tower. Great speed though. Much better than the very early stages of the map where I was at 20% speed. It took an entire day to get across this island chain. We have a couple of quests that require glass and cloth to complete them, and I don't have any way of making those. I could buy a weaver's station, but I also don't have enough money. So we're going to spend a day here collecting as much ore as we can, refining it in our two foundries into iron. Uh, we will upgrade all the fans because they all require iron to do that, and then we'll sell that iron to buy the needed cloth and glass to finish the quests. I don't know if I want to expand my industries. We make pretty good profit just pillaging the land for all of its ore and selling off the iron for coins. And I'm pretty happy with my design. I don't want it to get too complicated. I like simplicity. We need 10 glass and 5 cloth to finish the quests. I don't have enough money to finish both don't think. There are three quests I need to do. I think I can get two out of three done before we need to upgrade the ship. You can buy food and water in an emergency, but I, it's pretty easy to find, especially in this early starter map. I heard there are other biomes and things you can visit, but I'm not sure if that's in the scope of the demo. We have what we need for the quests. We are fully stocked in the coal bunkers, manning the propellers. 95% speed since we finished finally upgrading all the propellers to maximum. Pretty happy with that. The only thing we're short on is food, but that's pretty easy to grab on the way. At some stage we'll upgrade our capacity to hold food and water so there'll be less stops. And when we do collection, every man will be helping to do that. We've arrived at the cotton pickers. You, sa you found us the statue, which we did. Now you all have to do is build it. Build us a shrine. I'm not sure how I found the statue, it just I was just looking around and it said, hey, you found a statue. It wasn't something I was actively pursuing, but now the pirates are coming to try and destroy the shrine that we are erecting. So man battle stations all on the defense towers. Pull some out of the academy to help man the guns. We'll just stay here. I'm not too concerned about them. We still have room to upgrade the defense towers to shoot faster. Research on the range just completed. And also, they're fairly easy. We just need to get some wood, and there are none, none around here. So we'll grab some wood and upgrade our towers even further. See what kind of reward we get for this quest. Really would like some decent money, so that we can buy more blueprints for research. So it doesn't really cost anything to research things, you just have to buy the blueprints for coins. Look at the crow, pirate! Ha <laughs> ha, we beat you! I'm really interested to see what the other forms of lift are, as well as the other forms of propulsion. They finished building the shrine. Thank you very much. We're going to send you daily cotton deliveries. Six cotton per day. That's not really useful to me right now. The only downside to a high-speed craft is that 
you don't really get much time to collect things as your ship's blasting past, so you have to send them out in advance and hope they collect something as you pass over them. But that's hardly a, a downside. We've got more pick of resources. Now we just have to wait until their planes are repaired, and then this engineer is going to help us out too, apparently. That's done, as well as the warehouse upgrade, which is much needed upgrade. We could have almost a hundred of each on board. The planes are finished, they're repaired. It's time to head back to Oren Spire. The planes are aboard. Let's get the men back on the pens. Everyone's off the defensive guns. And where are we headed? Headed to Orenspire. Trying to collect as much lumber as we can on the way. We're running a bit short. But our warehouse is now complete. So we can store a hundred iron, a hundred wood, and a hundred ore to be turned into iron. Or just 300 of something else. Hello, hello. You re re you've returned with Regina in tow. Wonderful. Now we can get to work on building you something that will really show these pirates that we mean business. Of course, of course, the pirate threat will find itself an unexpected foe in your newborn airborne kingdom. Alright, so they're going to give us access to a blueprint. Masterwork cannon. Which just so happens to be downstairs under a row of books. <laughs> it's a bombard cannon. And it looks compatible with our city. This is wonderful. Everyone's really happy. They even bonked their heads. Build the cannon, fly to Litolos, and free the Queen Minerva. Right, we're going to get started. We've researched the cannon. Let's research the upgrades. Cannon cooldown, cannon range, cannon cooldown, cannon range. Really cool. And because we have so many scholars, that will be researched very fast. Where will we put the cannon? Well, it's going to be a front-mounted cannon, that's for sure. We've set up collection and refinement of ore, as well as all of our other resources, so we can just concentrate on building and nothing will go wrong. Now, the cannon is a 3x3, three three, so I'm going to have to make some changes to the front section here. But that will just mean changing the path. Knock this section out here. Need to wait for the light pole to be dismantled put the cannon in. Oh wait, the path is still there. No good. Let's leave that. Cannon. Whack it on. A little bit of tilt to the front right, but once we have that built, we'll fit the other side and that should balance out. Fit the path up. Well, you can't have two turns in a path. So we need to do it section by section. Judging by the light placement, I'm going to have one section uncovered by light. And that person just fell off the edge. That little birdie. But we don't have any glass to build more, so unfortunately, until we do that, there's going to be a slight risk of people falling off the edge. Not too bad, though. Fairly safe. Delete this side and we'll fit the other cannon. The port side cannon. I have a slight feeling putting this in will make us a bit front heavy. Two large bombard cannons. We already do have a front tilt slot. We're going to have to expand backwards, but I did have plans to expand the ship further aft anyway. Putting on the other light pole. And that is pretty formidable. We've got hangar bays on the front, propellers, and two bombard cannons. And then we will fit up more defensive towers on the rear so that we can turn on all the propellers and then run. We also have some extra space on the front now since we've expanded the propellers. If I go back to Oren Spire, I can re remove all the parts on my ship for free without having to dismantle them, which you lose resources for. So we'll, we may put an extra propeller on the front as well. No doubt these extra cannon will slow us down. I do have slight concerns about recoil. I don't know if that's modded, modeled in. I would hate to flip the ship when I fire the guns. It would look hilarious. 
The final upgrade for the cannons will take 16 hours. Do I really need it yet? Of course I do. Firepower. The cannons are manned. We are ready for our first fire test. All right, we've got the starboard cannon. Fire into the forest. Port side cannon firing away. That's pretty cool. Destroying forest lands and all the animals within. Sorry, guys. Pretty happy with that. We didn't flip the ship, and now the pirates are coming in. They've heard the gunfire. All right, take the men off the guns and put them in the defense towers. One, two, three, four. We're going to need more defense towers, I think. Before we can get aggressive, we have a mission to attack a pirate base. We've got the weapons to do it now. But I would like to have more defensive emplacements. Still got the rear fan, the aft fan needs to be upgraded. Running a bit tight on lift at the moment. They're coming in from the front, I'm not too concerned. There are four of them. Slightly different aircraft in the middle. They got shot down second. A little crow boys. Let's see if we can use the bombard cannon on them. When they land, no war crimes here. They're pirates. They don't get the same <laughs> rights. Take the men off the defense towers, get on the bombard, and we should be able to bombard these guys, I think. Oh, you're in trouble now. Load the, oh, they disappeared. No, <laughs> I will get my revenge. I've seen these little outcroppings everywhere, so let's see if we can blow them up now that we have firepower. Almost in range, fire. That recoil there, generous tilt. We need to warn everyone before we fire that cannon. Ooh, there's a coin ruin. That is useful. All right, what's the next plan of action? Collect these coins, that's for sure. Let's see what happens in the water. Are we getting good splashes? Yep. We've got a mission to find a sea beast. Maybe we can shoot that too. Let's see if we can get a cinematic shot of the cannon being fired. We can select the cannon, but it won't let me shoot. If you're enjoying the video, now is a great time to hit that like button and leave me a comment. What else can we do? Looking for all the coin ruins would be a helpful start, but we're moving into enemy territory now. We've got a pirate base ahead. It would be wise to take on some more crew. We'll take one more for now. I need to upgrade the housing one final tier. There's the pirate base. The coal bunker, upgrade that. It will only take eight hours. Or... Cannon cooldown. <laughs> Battle's about to start. I'm not even ready for it. Housing block is what I really needed. The pirates are coming in from their pirate base, manning the defense towers. We'll take one off the, the bombards for now. I hear the aircraft coming. I think we'll be fine just to shoot them once we kill the aircraft. One of our cannons is manned. Port side cannon is unmanned. Four aircraft inbound. 12 o'clock. I still need more towers. Oh, oh, what? We just got hit by something on the on the bow. Our propellers look like they're frozen. We've lost lift. We are going down slightly, but the fans have recovered. Oh, we've been hit by a bombard cannon. Fire back. We're not in range. Fire. Did we shoot down all the aircraft? No. Yes, now we have. I should have been battle ready. I should have had everyone out of the, the schools and at battle stations. Firing on this thing. It's firing lasers at us. Oh, it's cryo beam. It's taking our propellers out again. One of our fans, we are overweight. We need to destroy it. 
One, only one of our can cannons is functional at the moment. Alright, we've destroyed a pirate freeze cannon. I want one of those. Okay, we're over the target. Oh, I... <laughs> we blowed our own hangar up. I don't know why I thought that was a wise idea. Let's turn away from the target. We're kind of making fools of ourselves. Is the arc of fire high enough to go over the ship? No. It just blew up our fan. Maybe I should have tested that during our weapons testing phase. So we only have forward and side arcs of fire. We have to be extremely careful not to be over the target. The Bombard Cannon does not discriminate, but we have destroyed the pirate base. There's one more building left. Pirate Warehouse. Send a worker down to loot the cannon. Get some wood and iron from that. Destroy the warehouse. Double cannon shot. That was a pretty amateur show of battle tactics. Now that the base has been destroyed for Mac, the Lumberjack, we're just going to tell him the news. And we're going to get 12 wood per day. Yeah, that's all right, I guess. I want more, more money. Coins. Next time we get to a town, I should be able to upgrade my houses. So let's grab some extra crew. There's two here. 140. The cost is going up slightly. Population has grown above 50. Our town center cannot provide enough morale. I'm pretty sure I just upgraded the town center for morale. And a worker is getting sick every five days because we need more clinics, but I'm not going to bother with that. I've come back to my favorite ore mining town because I know there's a rocky outcrop here for free money, so we'll blow that up. Yay! Now we just need to send a worker down to the ruin that comes out of those. Oh wait, that's different. It's a point of interest. We've got a problem with our fuel supply, if you could help us out. The entrance to our coal mine has collapsed and... Oh dear, did I... Is that the quest? Alright, we just click on it. Uh-oh, I think I broke the quest. So I broke that quest at the ore mine and we missed out on that. It's just going to stay perpetually active in our quest list. We've got enough money now to either take... Hemp Weaver or both the silos? I think I might go with the silos. We don't have the manpower really to start up another industry. I, I don't want to manage that second industry yet. Okay, so we're just going to research the housing, which we've done. We're going to do the silo and the water tower, and then we will fit them to our ships. It's going to take an hour each because of our excellent research ability. Just waiting for that. Food silos done, time for the water tower, then we'll fit them to the ship. I have the perfect spot for them. All right, so, the, oh, the food silo is bigger than I thought it was. I was going to fit it next to the coal bunkers there on the center of the ship. So I think I might put them to the rear. The water tower, is the water tower small? Yes, it is. So I've got a space for it already reserved. So we'll put our water supplies next to the fuel. Just extending the path so we can connect it up. Perfect. On both sides. We've got a three degree front tilt at the moment. Adding these to the center line shouldn't matter too much. All right, the rear of the ship is fully upgraded fan now. We will need to add more fans, so let's get some more lift on the front of the ship to prop up that front tilt. We'll go one on either side of these this already existing engine bay. Yeah, do it like that. Then we have enough room behind the houses to put some defense towers if we want. That should shield our crew accommodation. 
Oh, the pirates are coming just as we're in the building phase. That's unfortunate. We've only got two available workers. We need to take off the cannons. Fully man the towers. I wish there were a better way to strip your crew. Like if I were to prioritize buildings. Haven Mill is whole once again. We need more crew. We'll take the last three, I think, before the pirates get here. We're at fully crewed now. I just need some cloth to upgrade the crew accommodation to their maximum. All right. Got some sickness aboard, but that's okay. We'll get it fixed up. Our clinic's getting an extra bed as well. Instead, actually, of the housing. Keeping everyone healthy is more important. Let's fly away. We're at maximum speed. Flying away 85%. The plan is to make her almost max speed with heaps of rear firepower so we can just run away from pirates. I think that theory will work well. Upgrading the side fans we've just fitted. And that should, uh, that should solve our tilt at the moment. There we go. So we're getting shots on them before they're in firing range. That's perfect. If we put more, sh more guns to the rear, we will be invulnerable to pirates. Until they get massive waves or something. <laughs> I do wonder if the swarms will become swarms eventually. And so in a way it's kind of like a survival game too. Like <laughs> how long can you last? Do you have to keep exponentially building to keep up with the threat of the pirates? I would like all of those questions answered. Or will they just remain a minor annoyance? Okay, what is the next plan? We need to go and get the pirate island, I know that. Fitting up the other side food silo. And then we'll build a path around to the back and maybe put some extra guns in there in the rear section. There's an extra spot there for a defensive tower. Let's put that there. So we could have eight guns to the rear. We have a decent amount of wood still, so fitting up some lighting. We've got the glass to spare. There and there. Okay, we need the extra turret on the other side. We have some lift to spare. Making sure she's symmetrical on both sides. Nicely done. Fitting in the path to go around the food silo. And then I may put turrets just behind the food silos to finish off the ship. And if needed, maybe an extra fan in the center line at the rear to balance any issues that we might have at the stern. Waiting for those uh, constructions to be completed. And then I would say, for now, my ship is finished. For what I, for the purpose I have for it anyway. Which is to go and break the siege and smash the pirates at an island. Ideally, we'd want a little bit more crew. Maybe 60 crew. Okay, and I think those two turrets will fit in nicely there at the stern. Shielding the food silo a little bit. And once they, the guns are fully upgraded, they will be shot at for a long time. Although our maximum speed has now dropped down to 75%, so we do need that extra propeller on the front. And we'll have to go to Orinspire to do that. We can refit the ship for free. I can rearrange those propellers around and add in an extra one. 
running pretty close to maximum lift, so we need about 10% redundancy. We'll add in an extra fan at the stern, and that should round her out until we add the propeller, and I think then we will be complete. In the short term, anyway. The fans at the stern need upgrading, the defense towers need upgrading. A little bit more collection to finish that off. Get the fans constructed now. Our magnificent flying city is on its way to Orange Spire, taking in the beautiful sights of the birds collecting things as the other birds fly around. <laughs> The little cheapers of the flying city taking in the serenity, the peace of the night, because they know tomorrow there will be conflict and death. <laughs> we are running at maximum speed. All of our guns are finished and we have pirates on our tail. They are going to find out what it's like to stern chase a powerful warship. <laughs> yes. And we're going to be even faster soon. They didn't even get within shooting range. The pirate island's pretty close to Oran Spire. So I thought we would just go and meet the pirate scum first before we refit. And then we're going to try and break the siege of Litalos, which is to the north in the center of the map. Manning up the defense towers, we have a wave of fighters coming in ahead. This is our weakest attack angle and they will get to us faster. We're going to take damage. But once they hit the center line of our ship, they just are decimated by the guns. And there is no base here. Just some ponds where we can collect loot, apparently. Get people back in the academies off the guns. Got a pretty good routine of school, then shooting, then school, then shooting. Just waiting for that team to come back. We found dye to customize our buildings. Actually, that's one thing I didn't mention is you can customize the colors of your buildings. I haven't bothered too much with that. All right, we received a thousand coins for destroying those pirates at the island. That was actually quite easy. I should have done it earlier. Meanwhile, other pirates coming in from the port side, obliterated. We took some damage. I was a bit careless there. Didn't follow our defense doctrine, but that's fine. Let's have a look at the academy. Our Inspire has a sail. Generates propulsion, high cost, no fuel for workers or a hemp weaver or a workshop. That's interesting. No fuel, but for workers. We'll take that. That's too good to turn down. And we're going to the sky dock to refit the ship for propellers. We have room for one more. Even better, it turns out we have room for two more because I extended the path a couple of squares. So we have six, seven propellers on the front. We should reach maximum speed. Once those are fully upgraded, and it looks pretty cool. Like we're, we're coming for you. And we will run away from you if you're too slow. The old battle cruiser theory. Working on the final propulsion upgrades for our fans. Or propellers, rather. It's confusing, fans and propellers. They do the same thing. Sort of. Kind of. 96%, 98%. That's almost perfect speed efficiency and firepower. I'm very proud of that. And I would I'd love to see what other people come up with. It's really down to interpretation how you build your flying fortress. Found a couple of beacons here around the edges. The guy at the shrine said it might be useful. We'll see what happens there if we light them all. We lit one beacon and at 98% it's making it quite the dream to get about. 1.7 coal per hour is cheap as chips and we have heaps. There will be some kind of creature lurking the depths. <laughs> and we have found what appears to be a gigantic turtle fish. And so, like all explorers, we have decided to shoot it for science and to see if it's squishy. That age-old, is it edible test. 
We have found the first sea beast. Return to Scholar Gates' outpost. I thought they were saying the sea beasts were dangerous. We better not take any risks. Leading the target, trying to get the shell to drop on the center. Oh. The mighty sea beast seems unfazed by our cannon fire. Despite pretty good accuracy. Leading the target. Maybe here. Ooh. The warning shots, he's just unfazed. That's a headshot. Oh well, I guess we have to go and tell the ranger about the sea beast. So that is the final form of my flying city and we are going to head towards the city of Little Ose to break the siege and free Queen Minerva from harassment. I mean, who do these pirates think they are? Really? They're nobodies. They're behind enemy lines now. So they float down in their little parachutes. So we found our first inland river and we can collect water from it all the way up the length, which is interesting. I like that. We've got a small pirate outpost here on the bank of the river as we head our way towards the capital of the Kingdom of Erie. Going to research the sails. Ooh, a defensive tower on the starboard side's taken fire. Glancing blow as we are angled towards the target. Two short bursts from our bombard silencing their resistance. Reloading the cannon, come on. We need to finish off these warehouses so we can loot them because we are totally not pirates. There's the town under siege, there's the base. Fire, fire, just spread shot. Looks like you can have up to six cannon but we don't have the ability to add them. Oh, fans have taken damage, but the firepower is destroyed, so we're free to bombard the base. Excellent stuff. We'll loot them and then go and see if the Queen's okay. It's, the town looks pretty, pretty poorly. It's going to take 10 cloth at a sail. That's not within our reach yet. Go to the market. Grab the cloth. Before we even see what the Queen's about, we want to see what kind of cloth they have. <laughs> Typical merchant. Selling all the excess iron to recoup the cost. Now we're going to see the Queen Minerva. It's been some, uh, been quite some time since Little Os has been graced by the presence of a friendly city in the air. Might I have the pleasure of knowing who our saviour is? Refuses to elaborate. I see. <laughs> that weapon, it doesn't feel like a simple machine. That's an ancient device, something from the times before. We're happy to help, Your Highness, chimes in the advisor on our behalf. Our city is in ruins. I would happily greet you more warmly, but that siege, there isn't much to show. So we're going to help fix up the city. We've got a sky dock here too, which will help us refit the ship if we need to. We've got a tavern. There is nobody available after... Oh yeah, there is, but we can't fit them. I need cloth to upgrade the houses too. Buy the rest of their glass. Or should I check the research tab first? Yes, research is the way. We've got some more options here. A tavern for morale. A flapper. Generates lift to keep us aloft. Average cost, no fuel, two workers. At no fuel, that's really cool. So we could make a self-sustaining ship if we put wings on the side. Fresh plot of land to be sown creates one food for water. That's cool too. Transforms wood into coal. So at some, some point you could really shake up your economy. Make it almost self-sustaining. The only thing you would need to collect would be water and wood. For survival. That's, that's, that's cool. I like that. 
And at the moment, in this biome, water's plentiful. We're repairing the town of Litolos. It's costing us some supplies, but hopefully we will be justly rewarded. Should add that I upgraded my food and water silos to maximum, so they we basically don't have to resupply with this low amount of crew. We carry two food and two water for everyone on board. Town's rebuilt. Let's put some lights in to fill up those gaps. Let's go and talk to the tavern. So you're the one who's been facing off against all the pirates. We've been fending off the pirates, not exactly seeking them out. I'm Hank Walton Jones, in the flesh. The famous explorer. I think I've found something truly extraordinary, but it's too hot to sneak in myself. I'm looking for some muscle to back me up. Will you do it? Of course, we love treasure. Because we're totally not pirates. Oh no, thanks for playing the demo. We've got lots more in store for the full game, but you've reached the end for now. You can, of course, explore the Eerie. There may be more quests that you've seen. No, I was just getting a taste for it. A perfectly length demo, I guess. There, are, there does appear to be another biome up in the distance. Let's go and have a look at that. So we won't, real, we won't build anymore now that the demo and the story's over. Of course, you could really just go to the extreme and build massive cities if you wanted to from this point. But I wanted to make a functional warship. That was my goal. We did it. We can fend off any pirate that we see. We can hear the crazy music when the planes are in. And we're heading off to another biome to see if we can get across there. Oh, wait. We're taking fire from a ground emplacement. Get the men on the cannon. It's going to take 10 seconds to reload. Fire. Fire! Where is it? There! We dodged that shot. Oh man, I just blew my hanger up again. <laughs> Make sure you know which gun you're shooting on which side. Alright. Gun is reloading. Swinging around the ship violently to take the shot in the rear. <laughs> There's back shots. And... Defensive emplacement is destroyed. This whole coast is littered with them, so we'll destroy all of them, and then we'll go and check out that other biome, see if we can get across the ocean. We're fast enough, we're not going to run out of supplies. 97% efficiency. Excellent. Bye, pirates. desert biome but it's n there's a map border here I can feel it yes so there is a quest marker there it just won't let us get up there so there is another world to explore dangling that fish in front of us well I guess that brings us to the end of my coverage of the airborne empire demo I'm commander Tyrael Maybe you should check out some of my other content, which you can see on the right-hand side of your screen. If you've made it this far, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It would really help me out. The game releases in early access at some point in the, this year, so keep an eye out. Until then, Commander Tyrael, out. <laughs>